locker and turn them back in. <laughs> you're finally you have a guy you're finally, waiting there. You're finally Sam. <laughs> like, like he just looks really hot and like, um, don't blame me.
Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome to the University of Northern Colorado's graduate commencement ceremony. My name is Dr. Vish Iyer, and I'll be your host for tonight's ceremony. Our student farewell will be given by Mariana Lucero this evening. Mariana will be receiving her Master of Arts in Theater Education. Welcome all UNC students, faculty, dignitaries, and familias. My name is Mariana Lucero, and it is my great honor to welcome all of you to the University of Northern Colorado's 2018 Fall Commencement Ceremony. Students graduating tonight are the definition of tenacity and grit, and I am honored to stand here before such extraordinary scholars. I am a first-generation college student and the proud daughter of an intelligent, resilient Mexican immigrant. One who gave me the invaluable advice of fiercely investing into my own education because she was not given the same opportunities to do so. I was raised by a collection of supportive teachers, friends, and familia in the south side of Denver, Colorado, and nurtured by a company of teatristas from Su Teatro, who empowered me as a young Chicana to learn more about my ancestors. They taught me the indispensable lesson of using the privilege that I gain through higher education to invest back into my beloved community, where I now serve as a theater educator to young, culturally diverse elementary students. It is at Su Teatro that I also learned the meaning of the Mayan precept in the poem in La Quiche, which translates to, you are my other me. This sacred ancestral code drives a message of oneness, that by seeing others as extensions of ourselves, we can better learn how to love and respect ourselves and others. So I stand here before you, choosing to see you all as my other me. This room contains some of the greatest minds in the world, graduates who have devoted their lives to science, literature, mathematics, business, technology, cultural studies, criminal justice, education, and just as important, the arts. And although our cultural backgrounds and upbringings may differ from one another, we now share the common experience of obtaining our graduate degrees. A degree well, held, a degree held by a small percentage of the nation's population, so here and that number is even less in communities of color that have been historically me. marginalized this and disenfranchised. Some of the when they greatest minds seat the at this table. Graduates who have devoted their so lives let this be to a moment of great change. Mathematics, let it become a catalyst that brings us together studies, when forces in the world are trying so hard to tear us apart. And just as important, let us use our education, compassion, and, although our and resources to empower our surrounding communities in need, we now they share are in fact a part of us. And by doing this, we gain a, a better understanding of our own privilege and elevate ourselves and that to a much higher purpose in where we play a key role in cultivating dignity and equity and in our world. When they too deserve a I want to thank the commencement table. committee and faculty members in the so theater education department of for this opportunity change. to speak in front of let my peers, whom I regard with the highest respect. I want to thank cohort nine who stand with me as true allies as I use this platform to voice and my truth. resources to empower our to my elementary students, my baby Jaguar warriors. Your strength by gives me the confidence to move our own and we will and move elevate them ourselves to a much higher to my supportive husband, whose unconditional love taught me to overcome incredible obstacles in our world within myself. I want family. to thank the commencement committee and faculty members in the and most importantly to my mama for this opportunity to recently ask me if I had found my regard with the highest respect. But Mama, the truth is, cohort nine, I never had to search for stand it. with me as true allies as I use this platform to voice my truth. To my elementary students, my baby Jaguar warriors, your strength gives me the confidence to move mountains, and we will move them together. To my
you continue to give your light so that others may discover their paths in the always illuminated mind. I am eternally grateful to be your daughter. To the class of 2018, congratulations on all of your remarkable accomplishments. You have the power to do so much good in this world. See your surrounding communities as extensions of yourselves. We are a part of the same universe vibration, and that is something to be highly revered. To end my speech, I would like to share the poem in Marquesh with all of you. Tu eres mi otro yo. You are my other me. Si te hago daño a ti, if I do harm to you, me hago daño a mí mismo. I do harm to myself. Si te amo y respeto, if I love and respect you, me amo. During one of my favorite events of the year, on a personal note, it is made all the more special and memorable being my first graduate commencement. For a special thank you to the Beerstadt Brass for the music played during the procession. Joining me on the platform this evening are many of the stewards of UNC's academic traditions and the leaders who help direct us toward the future. With the members of UNC's governing board of trustees who are in attendance tonight, please stand and be recognized as I call your names. Trustee Janice Sinden. Student trustee Malika Michelle Fuller. Well, thank you, trustees. Also in attendance are the faculty University. Would these individuals stand and be recognized? Thank you. In our attendance today, we have several graduating military students. Would these students please stand and be recognized? We also invite those visiting today who are actively serving in all branches of our military or who may be retired to stand as we acknowledge and offer our gratitude for your service to this great nation. Thank you. Graduates, commencement marks a significant milestone on your path as a lifelong learner. It is indeed a mark of distinction that deserves to be celebrated. Look around you and soak up this moment with your peers, family, supporters, faculty and staff looking on. I know I can speak for them in conveying our collective pride in your accomplishment. As your journey continues, you leave the university well prepared to embark on the next chapter of your lives. How do I know that? A degree from UNC not only opens doors, but the devotion and work ethic you have displayed to reach this stage are self-evident. A UNC education provides the crucial foundation and fosters the critical thinking skills that are so valuable in today's ever-changing world. UNC graduates go on to do amazing things, and they are equipped to adapt in response to whatever life presents. This is a momentous occasion. You are about to become part of the storied history of the University of Northern Colorado. 
In 1891, the first 12 graduates of our institution celebrated commencement, and that number has now grown to over 154,000 strong since our founding in 1889. We are honored to have you join them in this noble tradition. As you reflect tonight on this accomplishment and think about the opportunities that lie ahead, I hope that you will also remember to enjoy this moment, relish your time in this spotlight, smile for the cameras, and know that you have achieved something truly admirable. At this time, I am very pleased to introduce our keynote speaker, Carrie Smith. Carrie received his Master's of Arts in Education and Leadership at UNC. He also holds a Master's of Arts in English and a teaching degree from the University of Pacific in Stockton, California. Carrie is in his first year as principal of Greeley Central High School, but in his 19th year at the school. Upon arriving in Greeley, my wife Carrie and I chose to enroll our, my son, Nicholas, and our daughter, Rachel, at Central because of its excellent reputation. I had the pleasure of meeting Carrie and his dog, Tucker, at several soccer games this year. He and his wife, Julie, have lived in Greeley for the past 26 years, working for District 6. Impressively, Carrie begins his 31st year in education. Together with his wife of 28 years, they have raised a daughter, Alexis, a marketing director in Denver, and a son, Hayden, a sophomore at CU Boulder. Please join me in welcoming alumnus Carrie Smith. To President Feinstein, to the trustees, and to the professors and administrators, and to the parents and families and friends, and especially to the graduates, my warmest words of congratulations. I'm truly honored to speak here tonight, and I'm humbled and thankful. <clears throat> In deciding what to share to you, I decided to consult the experts, and so I asked the second grade classes at Wintergrad K-8 school what they thought students who had been in their place 17, 20, 22 years ago needed to be reminded of, things they might have forgotten. And here's what they told me. Number one, never do something somebody else has already gotten in trouble for. <laughs> I say, do it better. Number two, don't color on other people's paper. Number three, try to keep your family happy. That might start by moving out of the basement. And parents, just a word, some of you are sending your kids out into the real world. Just be prepared, the world might send them back. Don't forget to look at the street to see if a car is coming. What you do for them from there is up to you. Don't forget to get gas. I'm not sure if they're talking about your car or your dietary habits. <laughs> don't go when it's red. Definitely a traffic thing they developed here. And of course, don't bully. Nothing funny about bullying. Don't climb up the slide the wrong way, especially if you're too small. <laughs> and don't forget your wallet. Oh, that might be for the parents. And my particular favorite, look and listen to the speaker. I'm also reminded of the generous advice my father always gave me. He was always a giving me stuff. He'd say, you gonna cry, son? I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> I'd say, Dad, I can't mow the lawn, I got a stomach ache. You mow that lawn or I'll give you a stomach ache. I'm convinced his manipulation of the English language is why I became an English teacher. <laughs> He would take nouns and he would make them into verbs and for whatever reason he'd do it on my head. Dad, I got peanut butter on the dashboard. I'm gonna dashboard your head if you don't get that peanut butter cleaned up. Dad, I spilled punch on the carpet. I'm gonna carpet your head if you don't fix that. And he had wise things he'd say too. He'd say, Carrie, you fall off that roof and break both your legs, don't come running to me. <laughs> he'd say, I'll teach you to talk back to your mother. I'll teach you to not hit your brother. I'd say, go ahead, Dad. How about it? And of course, the classic, he'd say, son, this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. And at those times, I always wanted to ask, are you going to spank my knee against your groin? 
So here's the advice portion of my address. Two C's. I'd like you to live by two C's. Number one, contemplation. Socrates said, an unexamined life is not worth living. Hashtag, stay woke. Stay in touch with your inner compass. Be reflective. There'll be an enormous pool in the real world to always stay busy. I'd encourage you to take the time to work on being an interested person, a person that other people want to be around and are willing to open a door to. Contemplate what you spontaneously did when you were younger, before all the spontaneity was beaten out of you or educated out of you. One of the favorite games of my daughter when she was four years old was indoors hide and seek. She loved to hide and I would bury my face in a couch and count to 25 and she would run here and run there looking for the best hiding place, trailing giggles right behind her, all the while I knew where she was. And I'd get to 25 and I'd say, ready or not, here I come and I'd purposely go to the other end of the living room and I'd check here and I'd check there and invariably when I got close to where she was hiding, she couldn't stand anymore and she would burst from her hiding space, run over, grab my leg and just hug and giggle and say, Lexi, you don't get it, you're supposed to stay hidden. And so we would do it again in the same result. She would burst out, run over, grab my leg, and giggle and giggle. And I'd say, Lexi, you don't understand. But you know, that's the perspective of an adult, not a four-year-old, not a second grader. Children don't hide very well because they don't know how to hide. In the words of Robert Frost, something there is that doesn't love a wall, that wants it down. True life is not about hiding. Hiding's not natural. We are meant to be known, to be found out. Our stories are meant to be told. Our light is meant to shine. Aristotle said happiness derives from exercising one's particular capacities, doing strenuously what you do well. Which leads to my second C, companionship. Make connections, build relationships. Aristotle also said without a fully active role in community life, we would not hope to become a healthy human being. We grow together. No man's an island. My other mother always taught me that when you visit someone's home, always leave things better than you found them. That way you'll always be asked back and you'll always have friends. One of the things you and I can do to all, we can do, always do well, leave things better than you found them with others. I meet with a group of men every Saturday in McDonald's restaurant. Part of our purpose in meeting is to challenge ourselves to be better, and in, do, in doing so, we challenge each other to be the best possible versions of ourselves. We share it all, including the light we have been given and we hold that week. I work to surround myself with people who light, let their light shine, including, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention her, the hottest chick in the game, the one who lights my flame, fellow UNC distinguished graduate, master's in education, Class of 1996, proud member of District 6 for 26 years, public school educator for 32 years, soon to be retired, creator, artist, friend, thrifter, mother of two of the finest children on God's green earth, Julie Elise Otten Smith. You have been and always will be the brightest light in my life. Thank you for shining with your man for 28 years. Class of 2018, no one is an island unto themselves. We have all benefited and been supported by our community of others. The easiest way I can think of to show your appreciation for their investment in your human capital is by shining. Why not let your light shine? And this is not a selfish act. You give permission to the world and those around you to step out of hiding and into the light. Plato said, we can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy in life is when men are afraid of the light. Take your light and show us the way. And here might be the motivation for my two C's, contemplation and companionship, maybe more important than the two C's themselves. If I could plant an absolutely positive, true notion in your mind, if you haven't already, you will become someone's hero. That person will look up to you, he or she will admire your life, and will find in you the strength they need to press on. And while you're not the color on other people's paper, you will color their life in a beautiful way. We're talking refrigerator, magnetized to the refrigerator quality art. You'll teach someone how not to go against the red, or you'll help someone off the slide in their own life. 
And as all this happens, you will realize that what they admire most and love most about you is not your intellectual prowess, not the number of degrees you've earned, even though that's very impressive, not the number of Twitter followers you have, not the number of digits in your bank account, although that'll help with college bills. And it will help with kids because you need a lot of money for them. They're going to ask for a lot of stuff. No, what they're going to admire about you is your light and your character. A light and a character developed from passion, integrity, and happiness. We're taught that the people to admire are actors, musicians, and athletes, professionally famous, successful people. But when you and I look at the people that have helped us, that have perhaps saved us, that have challenged us, and who have changed our lives, few are publicly celebrated. We don't think of their money, we think of their generosity. We don't look at their outward beauty or look at their power, but how willing they were to sacrifice for us. So willing and natural at times that we didn't even know they were sacrificing. I'd like to convince you to stay connected and be contemplative. There's a person or persons out there waiting to make you their hero who needs you to let your light shine. The great creator of all things has made you for that purpose. And now for maybe the two of the most important words of any speech, in closing, graduates, continue to pursue your passions and grapple with the difficult things that you decide are important to you. I encourage you to take your light and show us all the way. It's your birthright. It's your responsibility. Be a passionate hero. Thank you, and may God bless you all. Thank you, Mr. Smith. We appreciate your joining us tonight and sharing your thoughts with our graduates and guests. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Theo Calico, and I am the interim provost for the University of Northern Colorado. Among the many traditions associated with commencement is the presentation of the mace and college banners during the processional. These items symbolize the graduates' accomplishments and the university's commitment to student success. The selection of a banner bearer is considered to be a special honor. Those serving as banner bearers today have been recognized and selected by their colleges based on their academic contributions. Would our Mason banner bearers please stand and be recognized? In addition, we acknowledge our commencement marshals, deputy marshals, and marshal captains who serve as leaders during these ceremonies. Would these faculty members stand and be recognized? Thank you. Linda Black, Associate Provost and Dean of the Graduate School, will now announce the recipients of the Graduate Dean's Citation for Excellence and the Outstanding Dissertation, Capstone, and Thesis Awards. Presenting the students with their medals is Dr. Cindy Wesley, Assistant Dean of the Graduate School. Thank you, Provost Calico. Are we ready? Excellent. Will the students receiving the Graduate Dean Citation for Excellence as well as the outstanding dissertation, capstone, and thesis, please come forward. The Graduate Dean Citation for Excellence is awarded each semester to students who have been nominated by their program advisors. This includes support for the graduate faculty and a university-wide review in recognition of their superior achievements in graduate education. These students must have at least a 3.75 grade point average and show evidence of outstanding achievement in their academic discipline and professional activities 
as a graduate student at UNC. Samantha Neibauer is receiving her Master of Science degree in Biological Sciences thesis. Please join me in congratulating Samantha. The Outstanding Thesis, Capstone, and Dissertation Awards are being given to doctoral or master's students who have been deemed by their research advisors to have made a significant contribution to their field of study through research. Bradley Crookston. Bradley is receiving his Doctor of Philosophy degree in Counselor Education and Supervision. Bradley is being awarded the Outstanding, the Dean Citation for Outstanding Dissertation. are dangerous. <laughs> Too much R. Uh, Nancy Erickson. Nancy is receiving her Master of Arts degree in Art and Design. Nancy is being awarded the Dean Citation for Outstanding Thesis. <laughs> Alexandra Lessam. Alexandra is receiving her Doctorate of Nursing Practice degree in Nursing, Family Nurse Practitioner. Alexandra is being awarded the Dean Citation for Outstanding Capstone. Please join me in congratulating all these students. The laws of the state of Colorado vest the authority for the University of Northern Colorado in its board of trustees. We are pleased to have trustee Janice Sinden give the authorization for the conferring of the degrees. Thank you, President Feinstein. The board of trustees extends its congratulations to our UNC graduates and their families. We are proud of your accomplishments and the significant milestone in your lives. President Feinstein, by virtue of the authority invested in the Board of Trustees for the University of Northern Colorado and as a member of the board, I hereby authorize you to confer on this term's graduates the appropriate degrees as recommended by the faculty of the university. Well, thank you, Trustee Sinden. I also appreciate your tremendous service to and support of your alma mater. Will the candidates for the master's degrees please stand? This is where you get up, yes. <laughs> President Feinstein. These candidates have met the requirements for the Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Music, Master of Science, Master of Biological Science, Master of Public Health, Master of Business Administration, Master of Accountancy, and Masters of Professional Science Master's Degrees. The faculty recommends them to you for the conferring of these degrees. By the authority the Board of Trustees vests in me, I confer upon you individually and severally the degrees of Masters of Arts, Masters of Arts in Teaching, Master of Music, Master of Science, Master of Biological Science, Master of Public Health, Master of Business Administration, Master of Accountancy and Professional Science Master's degrees with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to these degrees. Thank you. Students, please be seated for the moment.
The deans of the respected colleges will now present the graduates who have met the requirements for the degrees established and recommended by their college's faculty. Good evening. My name is Eugene Sheehan, Dean of the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Well, the candidates receiving Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, and Master of Science degrees from the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences, please come forward to receive your diplomas. Beth Mees. Saud Alotaibi. Gail Van Trees. Michael Oduro. Michelle Potit. Lachey Gurkey. Lance Noso. Shannon Cassidy. Arlen Negron. Tia Miller. Catherine Moore. Myla Dean. Sean Hardesty. Catherine Fry. Travis Belmontes Morrow. Allison Fossum. Jennifer Campbell. Zachary Flaherty. Berkeley Davis. Yeah. Renee Aguirre. Sarah Hammer. Yeah. Ellen Hunter. Sarah Simpson. Courtney Larson. Christina Ralph. Brooke Kimbrell. Berta Gian. Taylor Simons. Danielle Summer. Chesra Sankey. Emily Feebig. Gwen. Tanner Gwyn. Erica Abeta. Marion Steinbach. Kylie Brooks. Lauren Alvarez. Ernesto Flores. Kathleen Dillon. Janithia Buckley. Tara Hess. Maria Farr. Jordan Wilson. Sienna Trice. Melissa Toole. Abigail Flyer. Brienne Baranski. Elise Heilberg.
Kyle Perry. Sarah Matteson. Are you really? <laughs> Louise Perry. Megan Thronsheen. Christina Bayan. Benita Wilson. Grace Gordon. Jennifer Burks. L Laura Renye. Kyla Ownby. Darcy Wilkerson. Taylor Allen. Sarah Seifert. Allison Nelson. Melissa Cleaver. Harry Glover. Michael Devine. William Camping. Bethany Gensrich. Tracy Rusnak Redden. Rick Heroff. Jason Arcleary. Zachary Romer. Lindsay Ekman. Lauren Snyder. Amanda Evans. Amber Dalrio. Robin Hunt. Janae Feck. Kelly Shedd. Amanda Fletchstrom. Curtis Hope Hill. Ruben Gonzalez. Gail Crane Brody. Christine Kennedy. Shay Erickson. Ariel Wells. Stephanie Kellen. Cristal Ivara Santoyo. Adriana Baumler. Hannah Glines. Allison Biggs. Shannon Fisher. Amanda Cantu. Danielle Slager. Kira Olevis. Marie Tomatich. Jennifer Markway. Heather Hulesman. Amy Barker. Rhonda Erbach. Philip Winslow. Mona Barnawi. Jennifer Swanson. Jennifer Clark Lutz. Amanda Janet. Brandon Halverson. Jordan Dirkins. Catherine Archer. Christina Bechtold. Cassie Ballsbach. Samantha Hansing. Jessica Likes. Sarah Townsend. 
Barbara Bridgestock. Sadie Moore. Gotcha. Mary Fonnensteel Wilner. Samantha Criaris. Juhi Yi Yi Juhi. Nicole Deason. Rachel Martinez. Kayla Frank. Emily Cantillon. How are you? Carrie Ostregard Welch. Marvin Terryberry. Gotcha. Elizabeth Greco. How are you? Tough one. Amanda Ward. How are you today? Megan? Megan Smith. Heather Bamber. Tabitha Miller. Ashley McDonald. Amanda Cordova. Welcome, everyone. My name is Laura Connolly. I am Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Well, the candidates receiving Master of Arts and Master of Arts in Teaching degrees from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, please come forward to receive your diplomas. Julie Kennedy. <laughs> Jessica Espinosa. My name is Paul Bobrowski, and I'm Dean of the Montford College of Business. Will the candidates receiving Master of Accountancy and Master of Business Administration degrees from the Montford College of Business please come forward to receive your diplomas? Daniel Smook. Walid Al Shiri. Carly Hansel. Margaret Mags Kinney. Good evening. My name is Burkhard Englert, Dean of the College of Natural and Health Sciences. 
Will the candidates receiving Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Biological Science, Master of Public Health, and Professional Science Master's degrees from the College of Natural and Health Sciences please come forward to receive your diplomas. Ashley Schrank. Samantha Neibauer. Elizabeth Duncan. Gabrielle Petty. Kelsey Johnson. Yu Dae Wang, Wang Yu Dae. Alex Smith. Shanley. Shanley. Shanley Anderson. Jessica Dollard. Adeline Carrianen. Timothy Matthews. Megan Hamaker. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Charles Kranzberger. Ryan Page. Andrew Cogswell. How are you today? You're doing good, Dish. Dora Lopez Hernandez. Kyle Markley. Michael Graff. Marissa Baca. Where is she? She's over there. Caitlin Weber. Shelby Green. Cody Wilson. How are you? Brad Plump. Carolyn Simon. Logan Latowski. Josh Robinson. Good evening, my name is Leo Welch and it's my pleasure to serve as Dean of the College of Performing and Visual Arts. Will the candidates receiving Master of Arts and Master of Music degrees from the College of Performing and Visual Arts please come forward to receive your diplomas. Andrew Baker. Michaela Anderson. Nancy Erickson. Yes. Elizabeth Castor. 
Kay Harmson Wilson. Stephanie Schmidt. Jennifer Fogarty. Nitavadi Kausard. Veronica Markley. Haley Cotton. Allison Romano. Darcy Geip. Amanda Garrigan. Kendra Schneider. Anne Lilly. Mariana Lucero. Molly Speaker. Lian Lian. Xing Ra Li. Will the candidates for the specialist in education degree please stand? <laughs> President Feinstein, these candidates meet the degree requirements for the specialist in education degree. The faculty recommends them to you for the conferring of the degree. By the authority the Board of Trustees vests in me, I confer upon you individually and severally the Specialist in Education degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Will the Specialist in Education degree candidates please come forward to receive your diplomas? Brian Porter. <laughs> Stephanie Hines. <laughs> Jessica Lowey. Matilda Parker. <laughs> Melissa Stapleton. Will the candidates for the doctoral degrees please stand? <laughs> President Feinstein, these candidates meet the requirements for the Doctor of Arts, the Doctor of Audiology, the Doctor of Education, the Doctor of Philosophy, and the Doctor of Nursing Practice degrees. The faculty recommends them to you for the conferring of these degrees. By the authority the Board of Trustees vests in me, I confer upon you individually and severally the Doctor of Arts, Doctor of Audiology, Doctor of Education, Doctor of Philosophy, 
and Doctor of Nursing Practice degrees with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to these degrees. Will the doctoral degree candidates please come forward to be hooded by your research advisors and college deans. Samantha Estrada Aguilera. Dr. Aguilera's major is Applied Statistics and Research Methods, and she's being hooded by her research professor, Dr. Hutchinson. Dr. Aguilera's dissertation title is Robustness of Roche Fit Statistics in Dichotomous and Rating Scale Data. Suzanne Landrum. Dr. Suzanne Landrum's major is Applied Statistics and Research Methods. She's being hooded by her research professor, Dr. Lehman. Dr. Landrum's dissertation title is A Methodological Review of Cross-Cultural Ethical Dilemmas That Exist Within the Informed Consent Process When Ethical Considerations and Human Research Differ. Bradley Crookston. Bradley Crookston's major is Counselor Education and Supervision. Dr. Crookston is being hooded by his research professor, Dr. Cardona. Doc Dr. Crookston's dissertation title is Counseling in Spanish and English, Phenomenological Experiences of Bilingual Counselors. Reka Farago. Dr. Farago's major is Counselor Education and Supervision. Dr. Farago is being hooded by her research professor, Dr. Cardona. Dr. Farago's dissertation title is Supervision of Sex Counseling in Counselor Education, a Phenomenological Study from a Sex Positive and Multicultural Sensitive Perspective. Andrea Smith. Dr. Smith's major is Educational Leadership. She's being hooded by her research professor, Dr. Weiler. Dr. Smith's dissertation title is Teacher Evaluation Practices that Promote Teacher Development in Two Middle Schools. Christopher Mullen. Christopher Mullen's major is Higher Education and Student Affairs Leadership. Dr. Mullen's being hooded by his research professor, Dr. Yakubowski. Dr. Mullen's dissertation title is Mid-Level Student Affairs Professionals Work-Life Negotiation and the Use of Mobile Technology, a Case Study. Bronwyn Lehman. Dr. Lehman's major is school psychology. She's being hooded by a research professor, Dr. Hess. Dr. Lehman's dissertation title is Resilience as a Mediating Factor for Behavioral and Academic Outcomes for Adolescents with Executive Functioning Impairments. Ayman Aliyahya. Dr. Aliyahya's major is special education. He's being hooded by his research professor, Dr. Rishad. Dr. Ayaya's dissertation title is 
Parental Engagement in the Education of Gifted Children in Saudi Arabia, a Phenomenological Study. Thank you. It's beautiful. Widamol Locharonrat. Dr. Widamol's major is special education. She's being hooded by her research professor, Dr. Jackson. Dr. Lojolalat's dissertation title is Examining the Effectiveness of Basic Functional Behavior Assessment Training Package on Special Education Teachers in Thailand, a Replication Study. Daryl Ann Sundin. Dr. Sundin's major is special education. She's being hooded by her research professor, Dr. Brewer. Dr. Sundin's dissertation title is The Effects of Within School Consultation on General Education Teachers' Use of Behavioral Specific Praise with Students with Emotional Disabilities. Gail Radigan. Gail Radigan's major is nursing. She's being hooded by her research professor, Dr. Dunham. Dr. Radigan's dissertation title is Implementing a Transitional Care Program to Reduce Hospital Readmissions in Medicare Recipients, a Research Translation Pilot Project. Alexandra Lessam. Dr. Lessam's major is nursing, family nurse practitioner. Dr. Lessam is being hooded by her research professor, Dr. Dunham. Dr. Lessam's dissertation title is, It Starts With Us, a plant-based experiential education program for healthcare providers. Justin Zanchuk. Dr. Zanchuk's major is music, conducting, and Dr. Zanchuk is being hooded by his research professor, Dr. Singleton. Dr. Zanchuk's dissertation title is The Influence of Minimalist Compositional Techniques on Literature for Wind Ensemble. Catherine Benisa. Dr. Benisa's major is music, music history and literature. She's being hooded by research professor, Dr. Kaufman. Dr. Benisa's dissertation title is The Spanish Reconquest Portrayed in Renaissance Secular Song Moors and Christians Chronicled in Villancicos and Romances. Mark Pipes. Mark Pipes' major is music, music performance. Dr. Pipes is being hooded by his research professor, Dr. Singleton. Dr. Pipes' dissertation title is A Comparison of Saxophone Mouthpieces Using Fourier Analyses to Quantify Perceived Timber. Graduates, let's look back on highlights from this past year.
what a wonderful event we're having tonight. Many of you may have heard me use what has become one of my favorite phrases, rowing, not drifting. It is inscribed in the Horace Mann Gate on Central Campus, and it is as relevant today as it was over 100 years ago when the class of 1910 adopted it as its motto. The words inspire us to be intentional in our actions. While uncertainties in life may have a way of making us feel adrift at times, you leave here today with a solid foundation in place that will help you navigate those rapids. I encourage you to apply the same fortitude and spirit that brought you to this stage. Row through them towards your goals. Being here with you today has been tremendously rewarding. You are continuing to validate, validate your commitment as a lifelong learner. As a UNC graduate, you also joined a distinguished group of alumni from across the country and around the world. It is now my pleasure to introduce Jill Trotter. Jill leads the UNC Alumni Association's advisory board. She holds a Bachelor's of Arts in Speech Communications from UNC. Jill is an active volunteer in the Greeley community and continues to be both a supporter and advisor for multiple organizations here at UNC. Please welcome Jill Trotter. Congratulations, class of 2018, and welcome to the UNC Alumni Association. You're part of a network of more than 130,000 UNC alumni worldwide, so wherever you go after graduation, you will never be too far from another bear. Remember this network, whether you're starting your career, changing careers, or continuing your education, because we're here to support you, just as you'll support the graduates who follow you. As you move forward, maintain connections with your friends, your professors, and the university. Use the Bear Network to your advantage as you search for a job, find a new place to call home, or look for ways to stay connected to UNC. Will everyone who is a UNC alumnus or alumna please stand? All of you are. graduates, this is your network. Those were your fellow bears. Graduates, celebrate today. This is not the finish line that defines your life. Go beyond today and make a positive impact in the world, personally and professionally. This impact will define your life and distinguish you as an alum of this great university. Regardless of where life takes you, you will always be connected to UNC. Remember, graduates, once a bear, Always a bear. Thank you. Well, thank you, Jill. Graduates, your achievements and success could not have happened without your family, friends, and supporters. These people believe in your ability to succeed and have been there to cheer you on. Please take a moment to thank them with a big round of applause. Oh, we can do better than that. Come on, big round of applause. It is an age-old custom in cultures around the world to announce important events with the ringing of bells. Festivities and celebrations begin with ringing bells. School bells beckon students to come together for a new day of learning. The chimes in our own Gunter Hall mark the beginning of this commencement ceremony. Graduates, and I could already hear them, <coughs> under your chairs, you'll find a memento which represents a school bell. Please join me in celebrating your academic achievement by picking up those bells 
and ringing them. In just a moment, the Bierstadt Brass will perform the recessional. With the audience and the graduates, please remain seated until the stage party leaves the arena and you are dismissed by the commencement marshals. Congratulations, graduates. I declare the fall 2018 graduate commencement to a close. I want if you want.